Okay, folks, if you're interested in waterfront property, we got it right here on Lake Erling in uh, Arkansas. It's up here, not far out of Texarkana, and Bossier City is just down the road. It's a 7,000 acre lake, great fishing. You got about a half a mile of water frontage, uh, and folks, it's for sale. Let's go look at this property. This 34 acres sits on the west side of Lake Early, and as you can see, there's some really nice lakefront homes as your neighbors. I've got the owner here that's going to explain what we've got. Now, Rodney, this is a, a lot of um, shoreline. How much shoreline we got? A little over half a mile. And, and tell me the lake, where we're located, and, and let's, let's talk about this land. We're in southwest Arkansas, Lafayette County, right. Lake Erland. It's one of Lafayette County's best kept secrets. Uh, you can't really see this lake from the road much. It's uh, just recently it being developed. It's been a, built as a watershed lake for paper mill supply right. uh, in the 60s. BASS rated it, uh, ranked it two years ago as one of the top 100 bass lakes in the lower U.S. If somebody wants a remote, it's here. Yes, this is it. This is it. Yeah, it's, the, it's just 34 acres uh, that, that you own and, and tax uh, with the usage of about 50 acres. Uh, it's, it's really nice. It's, uh, you, it's located about 60 miles north of Shreveport, Louisiana, about 45 miles southeast of Texas County, Arkansas. If somebody wanted to come out here and build a home, build a pier, I mean, tell me the restrictions. Uh, as far as the piers, uh, there are no restrictions. Most people are using the Arkansas Game and Fish guidelines for the Arkansas Game and Fish owned lakes. There are no restrictions as far as building. We have power that's uh, on the west side of the property. Rural Electric Co-op is, uh, is the power owner. Uh, sewer, it would, it would be a private sewer. Anything uh, over 10 acres, uh, there's, there's you don't even have to permit it. Anything under that has to be permitted and you have to have three and a half to per to, in order to put one. This property wouldn't apply, you could just put one. Water, you would have to do a water well. Okay, now folks, we by boat, we came around the point here and we're still on the property. This is all the property right here. It goes right on around and back. What this is showing is the last developed property uh, before you get to the land that's on the left there it shows you the quality of the homes and the docks that set out in the water okay folks I I got down here on the land down here right off of Lake Early is right here the property is going right through here we're on a little bit of an easement and uh, well, you can see the the deer stands right there uh, like I said I've been down here since daylight and I counted no less than 30 deer crossing, coming back and forth, does, fawns, bucks already uh, with their horns out, tracks everywhere. I'm telling you, you know, I've been around a lot of places with lots of deer. There's no telling how many deer are in this area. Bow hunter's dream on your property uh, uh, that's located on the lake. Uh, so there's no doubt in my mind what kind of deer hunting is on this property. Now, folks, it's a, it's a, you know, a few miles on the uh, gravel road. I'll give you the exact mileage when we go back. But uh, there's not anywhere in this area, in this part of northeast Texas, uh, southwest Arkansas, that has this kind of lake frontage. You won't find it this much frontage on a major lake like uh, this one here. Now, we're looking at a sky view of... Um, of these places here you can see the potential and what you can build on this property folks electricity is right right here they just put in new poles right here a new easement's going right down the side of the property right down there to it the property sets right back in there you can see the lake from here i'm on a dead end road right here this is the this is the gravel road coming down to it but we're dead end right here go into your property uh, this way and uh, man the potential now folks if you're looking for a really cool waterfront property 
give me a call. We'll come up here and uh, get a boat, whatever it takes to get on the property and uh, look at the back acreage. 34 acres right here in Arkansas.